So first, let's talk about insert editing. And what that means is pushing the other clip out of the way to make room for your new clip. So if I drag my clip in and I put it at the very beginning of the timeline and I press the command key or control key on Windows, it's going to push the clip out of the way. I'm going to undo. Well, here, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see this real clearly. All right. So here's uh, undo. And notice that the clip, the sequence right now is 12 seconds and 13 frames long. I'm going to insert this clip at the beginning by pressing the command key and it pushes it out of the way. And now the whole sequence is 15, 16 seconds long because it added that three and a half seconds to the beginning. And you play it, we see the tape thing business and then the interview happens, right? So it inserted the clip, pushed everything out of the way. We can also do that in the middle of the clip. So we can find where he says that word measure. And we'll stop where he says measured, and we're going to insert it here. So I'm going to drag it to that point in the timeline and then press the command key. And it's going to push the clip out of the way and insert it right there. And so now, again, the whole sequence is 16 seconds long, but we've added this clip in the middle. Ultimately, we are going to be measured. On the impact we make on both smallholder farmers and... All right, so you see the difference between that and when we did the overwrite, I'm going to undo and show you. When we do the overwrite, it just covers up that section. The whole sequence is still now only 12 and a half seconds long. It didn't get longer. And we, we missed that part of what he's saying. All right, this time we don't hear whatever he was saying at that point. Right, so we miss that. So inserting is a way, it's a less destructive way of editing. But of course, it's, you know, impractical in a lot of cases. In a lot of cases, you, you deliberately want to overwrite. So that's the idea of inserting. And I want to just show you a couple other ways of doing the inserting. First of all, for any edit, you can drag, like I said, you can drag to the timeline or you can drag to the program monitor. And when you drag to the program monitor, the tooltip here, the, the screen shows you what to do. Drop to overwrite, use command to insert. And on Windows, it would say use control to insert. So I press the command key and look at the feedback. See that how when I, when I, when it's no, when the command key is not pressed, you see there's the base clip and we're going to cover up part of it. When I press the command key, the feedback changes. Now we're going to break that clip in half and insert this clip in the middle. So I let go and you see again, it performs an insert edit. And then another thing here, let's just go ahead and show those, uh, the tool buttons here. And you see, actually, we have buttons there by default for overwrite and insert. So if we just, uh, whatever selected, the in and out selected, if I just click that overwrite button, it's going to overwrite at the playhead position. So if my playhead's over here and I click overwrite, it lays it in right there. I'm going to undo, put my playhead in the middle here, and now I'm going to click the insert button. Boom, it's going to push things out of the way. So what's nice about that is you can play your sequence. Over the past year, but ultimately we are going to be measured. And as soon as you want to do it, you play, leave your playhead there, press the insert button, and you see there's a shortcut there. Overwrite is period, insert is comma. Boom, it pushes the clip out of the way and inserts your clip right there. And then finally, there is a menu item there in the clip menu, insert and overwrite your two choices there. I don't know why you would use the menu when there's all these other options, but uh, just to show you that that is available as well. So that is giving you a sense of the insert edit, but that's only one of the ways we can add clips to a sequence.